<laughs> Let's get a look at our forecast now. The birthday boy, Lonnie Quinn, is happy, here. Happy, happy. Uh, oh, thank you. Beautiful day to be inside working. Why are you working uh, on your birthday? <laughs> it's because, you know what? I would have missed you guys. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Uh, my wife and I will we'll have a dinner on our break, and it's going to be great. It's a great birthday. It's a beautiful weather day, and i got great pictures for you. How about that? Uh, there's a transition. The weather watchers sending in beautiful shots. I mean, we could talk temperatures, but the story is how blue the sky was. Look at this shot from Elena above her uh, apartment in Brooklyn. Elena, that's a gorgeous blue sky. And here's Adele taking a picture off the back of her boat as she's cruising along the Hudson. A couple of white puffy clouds overhead, but that type of cloud is the only cloud you would have seen today. What we have right now in New York City... Oh, not a lot of clouds, a beautiful blue sky out there. Temperature comes in at 80 degrees. High temp in Central Park today was officially 85. Average is 84. Well, tomorrow is going to be basically a repeat performance. We're going to go for 84 for the high temperature. It's warm, it's pleasant, and again, the type of clouds that you see out there, what Adele showed you from the back of her boat while she was on the Hudson, that's the same sort of cloud that you may see tomorrow. It's a good-looking day as well. Friday, I think there could be some changes. What we find out there as of right now, Beautiful skies. The closest storm would be in southern Vermont. And that's, look, there's no way that's going to do a loop to loop U turn and come back here. It's moving more towards a little sliver of a coastline in New Hampshire. Uh, it's not our storm. So, bigger picture will show you what's going on. All right, all this clear space that you see here, this is the high pressure system we were talking about before. High pressure is your friend. You're going to get another good looking day tomorrow. And this high is keeping any of this wet weather out around the Dakotas out of our area because there's that low spinning right around North Dakota. That low and it's trailing cold front. That's going to be our next weather maker, but really not until Friday, maybe into the weekend as well. Even any of this moisture that you see down on the Outer Banks, not able to make its way into the area because this high, uh, exerting too much pressure and not allowing it in. Nothing gets in. We have nothing but sunshine out there. It looks good. Take a peek at how the computer models are handling everything. Thursday is a good-looking day. Again, uh, that high pressure, like I said, not allowing anything into the area. That's 6.30 on Thursday. Now let's watch what goes on, what happens on Friday. I think the bulk of your day Friday, you're not going to see that rain get in because that high is still, even though it's weakening, starting to dissipate, strong enough to keep, I think, everything at bay. Later in the afternoon into the evening hours, maybe you'll start to see some of that wet weather get into the area. Now again, this line of ragged showers and a few storms, that's not the front itself. That's still depicted here, further off to the west, but some leading activity. Starting to you know, make its way, trying to get into the area. But I just think the bulk of your Friday, you're not going to see that rain until later Friday. And now it's looking even more so like Saturday morning. This is 10 a.m. And now you see that front making its way close to the area. Uh, I think you could even linger with a bit of a rain chance on Sunday. But I think of the two days, Sunday is the better one. Uh, we'll watch the timing on everything. Speaking of timing, it's that time when the, the, when the National Oceanographic Association has come out with its update on how many hurricanes we're going to be seeing uh, for the 2017 season, and they've bumped the numbers up. Of course they've bumped the numbers up because it's already been pretty active out there. Uh, we have now a 60% chance of this season being above normal versus what they were predicting as a 45% chance. It could, in fact, be, according to NOAA, the most active Atlantic season since 2010. We've had six named storms so far, and that is double what you typically see by this point in August. So we're on a fast track. Here are the new numbers. It went from 11 from 17 name storms. Now they're saying 14 to 19. Hurricanes 5 to 9. Major hurricanes 2 to 5. Big numbers, right? But here's the granddaddy of all hurricane seasons. 2005, we had 28 name storms, 15 hurricanes, and 7 major hurricanes. And there's a connection, 2005 to this year, because Every six years, the list repeats itself. We're using the same list of names that they used in 2005, using them again in 2011 and 2017. Catastrophic storm names get retired. They're never used again, so there will never be another uh, Katrina, which took place in 2005. So let's talk about how we see everything coming together in the tropics. We have Hurricane Franklin right now. 75 mile per hour winds forecast to make landfall from the Bay of Campeche into the Mexican coast. Uh, again, it's a stronger storm this time. We think sometime tomorrow, uh, and then it moves inland with a lot of rain. And that's a problem when you get into the mountains of Mexico because so often they're just prone to mudslides when you put that kind of rain down and winds as well. But I think this is going to be a big rainmaker for them. Our forecast, we're going to go 84 and beautiful tomorrow, 80 on Friday. Look at that late rain chance. Then you get to Saturday now, and we've got to keep that chance for some wet weather out there. It's still holding steady at around a 30% risk for Saturday, not as much of a risk on Sunday. Uh, I think Sunday will be the better of the two days, but it's not, you know, it's not a 0% chance on Sunday because mm -hmm. that front is just a little too close off of our southern area. Just a really quick question. Having all these named storms, does that mean any connection with them touching land? No, no, not at all. Okay, all right. Not at all. You could have all those storms that could stay out to sea. But, but look, look, probability, the more storms you have out there, uh, yes. you do have so much coastline. Uh, yes.
Well, I'm just a little bit. But. Got it. Thank you. Thank you.